Now, ladies and gentlemen, as many of you probably know, we're very badly hit by a recession here in Ireland. And over the past three years, almost 350 young Irish boys and girls have left our shores for work in other countries, mainly in Australia, and uh, some to Canada, and some to New Zealand. Uh, myself and very many Irish people in the 1980s similarly had to leave Ireland. I went over in 1984 to work in London and to sing around the Irish pubs there and until 1990 when the recession hit very bad in England I came back home. But the difference between me, ladies and gentlemen, and the present generation, and indeed all my generation, is that we all at school, I suppose, as many of the English men here tonight, and indeed women, would have left schools 13, 14, 15, 16, to go off and work in industry. Nowadays, all our young boys and girls have their PhDs, they have their MAs and their honours degrees, and the probability is that very few of them, I believe, would probably never come back to these shores again, except on a holiday. Now, the next song, ladies and gentlemen, is a song about a time in our shared history of England, Ireland, Scotland and Wales, where if you commit a crime, albeit what we know is class a misdemeanor, you will be invariably sent to two penal colonies in Australia, Botany Bay and Van Diemen's Land. And the next song, ladies and gentlemen, is a very old Irish song. It's about an Irishman finding himself in Australia, knowing that he will never come back to Ireland, and he's longing to see all the beauty spots that I'm sure you either have seen or will be going to see, like the lakes of Killarney, the Blarney Stone, the bells of Shannon down the cove, and Dublin, and so forth, ladies and gentlemen. And indeed, this Irishman is wishing that all the beauty spots would be in Australia that he could see him at his leisure. The beautiful old Irish song, ladies and gentlemen, called If We Only Had Old Ireland Over Here. I know a lot of Irish people here will know the song. Let's see you sing along with me. I was dreaming of old Ireland and Killarney's lakes and bells. I was dreaming of a shamrock over the old Shandon bells. When my memory suggested now a vision bright and clear and the strange things that would Oh. 